Hello YouTube family, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and welcome. And in today's video, I am just so excited, of course. It's vanilla day, I'm a vanilla girl. So of course today we're gonna be diving into my top recommendations for spring time appropriate vanillas. Now, one thing about a vanilla, you can really wear most of them year round, but these just have a special quality about them where I feel like they're gonna be maybe just a little lighter wearing, okay? We still definitely got some gourmands in here, um, but these really do evoke like spring time, all right? So if you're looking for the perfect vanilla find, huh, Auntie Rita has you covered, all right? So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So you guys, this first one is from the house of Fuguia and it is called Quilombo. If you are one of those girls who loves a lectonic scent, this is a vanilla that you need to get your nose on. It's very pricey, you know, which is why I have a very small bottle in my hand, but I sampled it, I loved it, and I said, you know what, I want to at least, let's just start off with a small bottle. If I can get through this and I feel like, oh my God, this must be a staple in my life, then I will definitely upgrade to the big bottle because like I said, it's very pricey. But this one is gorgeous, though it is still very simplistic in note structure and nature. So this has key notes of pampa milk, it's got some vanilla, and it has cane sugar. So this comes off, is very lectonic, okay? Almost to the point where like you you have to vibe with lectonic to, to like this because there's not a lot else going on in the fragrance. Like say your Blanche bed. Some people, maybe not a fan of lectonic, still vibe with that one because there's lots of florals. There's must, there's this, there's that. This is a literally milk sugar vanilla and I'm here for it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It wears sweet, it's definitely gourmand, but it doesn't get overly sweet. Um, and I feel like it's just very sophisticated. It's it's one that you probably will still be able to pull off in you know really hot weather because it doesn't wear heavy. Um, though I can still definitely smell this on me prominently. Uh, I just think it's a gorgeous sweet gourmand scent that is probably unique to others in your collection. It's not like a Bianco Latte. Um, like I said, it's not like a Blanche Bed. A lot more simple, but beautiful nonetheless. So if you have any others, you guys from this house, please put me on because it's definitely one I want to explore. I'm trying to figure out what I want to comprise, you know, of my discovery set um, through the website but it's just a gorgeous fragrance and I highly recommend you get your nose on it. This one I purchased directly from Harrods. So hopefully it's still in stock, but I will of course have everything linked in the description box as always. This next one is just always been such a hot weather vanilla favorite for me and I have raved about it uh, since it came into my collection and it's that time of year again to rave about my lovely Vanny Charnel. Oh my goodness. Like very few people were talking about this one um, when I discovered this fragrance and I was just so happy that I decided to blind buy this one because it totally worked out. And now I feel like um, once I reached out, I told Lucky Scent, please, please, you, you, got, you gotta carry this for the girls. It has been a really popular seller and it's really not hard to see why you guys, if you're a vanilla girly, you're probably going to vibe with this scent. It is very sweet. Um, it's very gourmand, but this vanilla wear is so different and unique to me because it's giving me like oily, buttery vanilla. <laughs> it's giving me caramel that's almost like melting in the sun. Okay, you've got like these candy fruits. You definitely have your vanilla. You've got some floral components um, in there and it's a little fruity, heavy on the vanilla. So sweet and sugary and just delicious. You overspray this, when I tell you, you are going to get stopped so often. Very rarely do I put this on, go to work or something, and there's just no compliment. Like someone is going to comment on someone smells like, oh, it smells like vanilla, like cookies, or, or you smell like caramel, or something baked goods is gonna come up in the conversation. <laughs> so this one has got me so mint, like y'all, it's about to be re-up season. And I am definitely going to be repurchasing it. We're just starting off hot weather, and this is like one of my go-tos. If you're a vanilla girl, get your nose on it, okay? Like I said, Lucky Scent, they, they have it. They carry samples, and it's just, 
oh, it's just an obsession for me. I love this scent and I cannot speak highly enough of it. This one is very, very, very long wearing on me, my skin, my clothes, all of that, but it's not going to be a super loud projector. There is like a transparency about it. Um, so if you're looking for something super like loud and rich, it's not going to be like a Bianco latte. It wears very differently, but I love it nonetheless. All right. This one again is Vanny Charnel and this is from the house of Epica. Next up is going to be a very woody vanilla fragrance. But when I tell you this fragrance has come into my life and completely taken over. I just talked about this fragrance last week. I just got this fragrance last week. Now when I hold this bottle up and y'all see the dent, you're gonna be like, Sharita, girl, what's with the capillation? Why you capping, why you lying? I know you have decanted and sold half of this juice. No ma'am. Cashmere and Palo Santo by Donna Karen is it. If you love vanilla, if you are looking for a designer fragrance that does not smell like every other designer fragrance on the market, then this girl right here is the one you need to get your nose on. Let me tell you this. It's so addictive. It is so sweet. You get this delicious, delicious peach. Okay, automatically you're gonna be hit with like tons of vanilla all throughout the top, the mid, the bottom of this scent. There is the sexiest labdanum, which doesn't actually come off as leather, you guys. It's just there adding sex. It's adding sensuality to the equation and that's it. This is, she knows when to clock out, okay? So don't worry about it smelling leathery. It's not going to have that vibe at all. You also have the Palo Santo. It is just giving me Feminine, woody facets, vanilla, fruity, like nuance, heaven. <laughs> what, y'all, do you, listen to me. I might as well just order my backup bottle now. I have sprayed this fragrance so much. They put just little, like a little, like shots of crack. Something in this is just driving me crazy. I cannot stop spraying it. I have been wearing it every day since I got it. I don't care if it's just my scent of the night. I don't care if it's my scent of the day. I'm going out for a walk. Oh, I'm gonna put on something, you know, like a jacket to chill outside. Oh, let me spray my jacket. This has to go on my body at some point throughout the day. As a matter of fact, it's time. <laughs> it's time right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has made me want to try the entire new collection. Like I mentioned in a previous video, they parted ways with Estee Lauder. I have never tried any of the Donna Karen fragrances, okay? I know the cashmere itself has been like around for forever, very popular for the brands. Um, but baby, I need to try the whole new collection. I think it's four of them. And people are saying that the fig is also really good. I'm, I'm a fig girl, okay? I need to smell it. Please chime in and let the girls know if you have anything from this collection that they need to get their nose on it. What is the tea? Let the girls know the tea because you ain't even got to believe me. Check the comments, okay? And let's listen to the community. Beautiful, beautiful. Prepare to be sick of me. I'm going to be ranting and raving probably until this bottle is done because I cannot believe that I'm getting something this addictive, this beautiful, this gorgeous in a designer. This, this is what I'm talking about. If I'm getting a designer fragrance, it's got to hit me over the head with something amazing. And they have done it. <laughs> they have done it. Uh, it is so gorgeous. Woody. Very, very woody. You have to love it. Woody is Palo Santo. Cashmere. Definitely lots of cashmere. So there's a coziness to it. It's a sweetness to it. But it's one that you can just wear all year if you love sweet vanilla fragrances. Again, very hard for me to find a prominent woody fragrance that really does exude femininity without it being super floral. And that is what they have done here. Oh, Y'all, please stop in and try it. <laughs> Tell you, stop in and try it. You will not regret it. Again, this is Cashmere and Palo Santo by Donna Karen. Next up is going to be a delicious citrus vanilla uh, gourmand, and you already sh you should on a on the list, okay? Hufflepuff, completely, uh, just as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I need it. It completely was just like taking over my little my little mind space, and I'm like, Sharita, 
Oh, those House of Siage prices. Girl, be patient, be patient. Finally got to a price point. Um, They had a flash sale and I picked it up. <sighs> no regrets. When I tell you this bottle is so stunning, but this juice did not come to play. If you want a vanilla gourmand that is very sweet, it's decadent, but it's going to be fresh enough to wear throughout seasons with very hot weather, then this is your girl. So this opens with Italian lemon, peach and coconut. And trust me when I say the lemon is not sharp, it does not bite, it's not overly zesty, it is done to perfection because you know these lemon gourmands can just be an absolute no for me. Devotion, absolute no. Uh, acro bake, absolute no. But here, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Doesn't give you any cleaning products vibe. They just knew what they were doing with the lemon, okay? And you're going to get something citrusy and lemon uh, for throughout. So you have middle notes that are basically floral. It's gonna be gardenia, jasmine sandbag, and freesia. And I always think that freesia is just such a beautiful feminine floral that gives a fragrance just a fun spring and summer vibe. Like it is so beautiful and I love to see it in my fragrances, all right? So you have vanilla mentioned twice in the base. So it's very, very vanilla forward. Bourbon vanilla, vanilla bean, and you have some Virginia cedar just rounding everything out, grounding it a little bit. But this is such a phenomenal release from the house. Some people with the lemon, citrus, vanillas, they don't get long wear on their skin. This one for me, I'm getting maybe like five hours. It's not super long lasting, but that's just something that I wouldn't put into the category of I expect eight to 10 hour wear a citrus, vanilla, gourmand scent. Some do, you know, but this one I find to be a little on the moderate side for sure. So keep that in mind if that is really important if you're going to get something at this price point. Moderate wear, beautiful compliments okay if that's your main objective then hufflepuff is your girl next up is one that is for my fresher girls okay you love fresh fragrances but you still want to give a little vanilla vibe you want to give a little sweet but you don't want to smell full-on gourmand that's not your thing i get it but at the same time you don't want to do something that's like super woody or ambroxan. You want it to be fresh, you want something solely, you want it to be bright. Well, I feel like Bosca Vanilla from the Aqua Allegoria line of Guerlain is definitely one that you should get your nose on. It's a fragrance that is done really beautifully. And again, it is very solar. Solar notes can come out very strange to some people. So if you're not familiar with what this smells like, please try before you buy um, or buy with, you know, from somewhere with an excellent return policy, because I think it's going to be kind of hard to just like pop in somewhere and try this on skin. Try to get a sample if at all possible. So this opens with eucalyptus and bergamot. Then you have middle notes of solar and immortal, and you have base notes of vanilla, absolute driftwood and musk. So it's very woody, but light in its woodiness. It doesn't wear heavy or deep or dark or anything like that. Again, very bright, very solar. This is giving me hot summer day. I'm outside, I'm enjoying nature, I'm on the beach, the sun is beaming down, my skin is glistening, you know, in, in the weather. And when I go to Bali, this is what I'm taking. Like, this is going to have you smelling and feeling so beautiful, but clean, but vanilla, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, so definitely check this one out. Solar Vanilla, love this one. Again, this one is Bosca Vanilla, and this is from Aqua Allegoria Gerla. Next up is going to be one that is budget friendly, but <sighs> you need to check her out. You need to check out Forever Moods NDA. <sighs> this one is one for the vanilla girlies, okay? If you want a vanilla fragrance that still has some spicy sexiness that you can wear even in hot weather because there is an airy quality, I feel like about this entire line, then NDA is one you should check out. It's a little unique to my collection and the others. Um, I feel like the tobacco flower that is a keynote in here really does make it have a unique quality. I love that note in here and it's coupled with a gorgeous vanilla and you have spiced rum. So it doesn't wear super boozy at all, but you get like this sexy spiciness and you're just like, 
what is that? Why does it smell so sexy? This is gonna be one where you smell it and you're like, this smells so good, but I don't quite know what I'm smelling. It was immediately a yes for me because I could pick up on the vanilla, very vanilla forward. Um, but then you got like these little spicy touches um, and it's very sexy, very sexy, but it's not loud, it's not overpowering. You can wear this anywhere. You can wear this to work and still smell very vanilla forward and sexy. You can wear this on a hot date and still smell spicy vanilla forward and sexy. Like there is a place for something that doesn't wear too loud and strong, but still has a spice rum note. Hello, okay, enter NDA. <laughs> so I think this is a fabulous release, my favorite from the lineup, even though I love them all. I think because this has so much vanilla shining through that this is my favorite of the four. Again, this one is NDA and this is from the Forever Mood collection by Jackie Ina. Next one is a pricey one, but you can get it heavily discounted. Uh, Creed Sublime Vanille, my bottle is many years old, which is why it looked like it's on its last leg. Um, but I probably had this at least three years and oh, Okay, we might need to get through her. I think she's starting to turn a little bit. <laughs> so this is very lemon forward. Again, lemon vanilla done right. Very simple in note structure, but there is something so classy and beautiful about the wearing experience of this fragrance. You've got this gorgeous opening with bergamot and lemon. You've got a touch of jasmine in there just to add a feminine quality to this fragrance. And then it's rounded off by musk. So there is some warmth in the base. Vanilla is definitely the forefront and it remains so gorgeously fresh because of the top notes. You get lemon throughout. You're going to get the vanilla throughout. And it's one that when I put it on, a female always compliments me. It's something about, you know, when a woman stops you and it's like, oh, wow, you smell pretty. Or what is that fragrance you're wearing? Or, you know, like there is just something to be said. So, you know, I love being a girl's girl. And it really is special when a, another woman compliments me on my scent. And this one just has that touch. It really does. So Creed Sublime Vanille. If you can get this at Joma Shop, if it's available, highly suggest you go that route because other than that, you are really going to be coming out the pocket for this one. It's gorgeous as it is. I don't think I would pay full price retail for this because this is a part of Creed's Privé line. Creed is already pricey. And then you want to add the Privé on top of it? Very pricey, but gorgeous fragrance nonetheless. Again, this one is Sublime Vanille from the House of Creed. This next one is going to be 402, and this is from Bond Parfumer. So this is for the girl who loves a good sandalwood, santal type of fragrance. So it has vanilla, it's got some caramel, very woody, okay? And it's something almost wears like a little powdery. There is a heliotrope in here. And again, very caramel, vanilla, woody forward. Like that is what you're getting. You're getting that just kind of bouncing back and forth, um, you know, between each other. And if you love sandalwood scents, but you want something a little gourmand, but above all, I think more woody vanilla, then this is one I highly recommend you check out uh, because it's just such a beautiful, like Santal wearing experience, but you're still getting those delicious gourmand facets. Again, this one is 402, and this is from the house of Bon Parfumer. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Please drop me a comment below. Let me know your favorite vanillas for this time of year. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure notification bell is turned on. And again, give the video a big thumbs up. I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.